Oh, Sophie. You are late. I was waiting for you. So, I hear you want to stop Sandman. Can you tell me what I should do? You bet. But not for free. I want a favor too. So if you can show me one of those jewels. Don't make any mistake. A pink jewel. A pink jewel. That's the one he wanted. Take it. Got a pink jewel. This doesn't seem as pretty as the other jewels. It's not very shiny. This isn't it. This is wrong. I died. He said pink jewel, right? Jewels, so there's gotta be something else we have to do with the pink jewel then, right? Oh, let's use it in the Oh shoot, I didn't even mmm. I'm glad I I'm glad I just randomly decided to do this. This jewel seems kinda dirty. Maybe I should wash it. What the 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 pink came off. It's actually a clear jewel. So this is a fake. Heck, this won't do. The unicorn would run me through. Yeah, yeah, he kind of did in another universe. Alright, well. What now? Can I just wash all these? Yeah, I guess it would make sense though, because if the unicorn's looking for a pink jewel, then it would make sense for the Sandman to hide it better. Can I go? Well, I gotta notice. Let me go. Let me go see David. 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 Good. He's still here. See you. Be careful, Sophie. You won't come. Nah, I hate that guy too. Yada yada. What about the note? David, I need you to read the note for me. Yes. Hey, lullaby. Can you read what this says? Ah, oh, that's from the jewel harvesting room. It's how to use the suction machine. Put suction cup on target's head and press button. What? 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 jewels in that other room. So maybe I could make a jewel. Um, I guess why not, right? Suck up jewel. Oh, be careful, Sophie. Okay, press the button. Oh, she's totally dead. Ooh, my ears. Oh, oh no! Pretty pink jewel. Got a pink jewel. Huh, I did it. Alright, so we got the real pink jewel, so let's. Now let's go visit Unicorn. Unicorn! Unicorn! I got your jewel. Here, unicorn. I brought a pink jewel. Oh, thank you. F Wait, no, what? Oh, gosh. <laughs> he was gonna kill me. Oh? Hold on. Is this jewel yours, Sophie? Yeah, I made it. Is that no good? Um, no, it's fine, but... Maybe I did something kind of bad. Eh? Oh, nothing. Thanks, Sophie. I've been longing to see this. Here, you can have this. Oh, thank you. Um, what's this weird colored rock? 
It's a limestone and it has special powers. When you touch it, you go all weak and limp. Great, isn't it? Why would you have something like that, Unicorn? I don't trust you. What's the good in this? How does this help me stop the Sandman? First of all, how am I supposed to hold it? Oh, you can ask Dwarf about that. I'm sure he can make it into something you can use. Dwarf? A fairy good at making things, I assume? You know him well. He lives in the cave west of Sandman's house. More open-minded than Sandman, so he should do it. Alright, I'll ask him. I'll give you the stone in this bag for now. Wishing you for good luck, Sophie. Hey, Unicorn, are you going to keep that jewel? Huh? No, I just wanted to see it, but... If you need it, I'll give it back. Do you? Oh... Oh, crud. This kind of seems important. Mm, this kind of seems very important. Should I take it back? It was made from so okay, so it was on Sophie's head, and Sophie used the sucking machine to suck it from her. So it kind of seems like is it made from like memories or something? But then Sophie might notice a lack of memories. Oh, I don't even know. Shoot. Should I let him keep it? But I kind of don't trust Unicorn either, but I kind of... Oh, man. And he did say he might have done something bad. So... I'm going to save to a different spot, but for now I'm going to say... I'm going to say I want it back. Watch him kill me for this. Alright, I'll take it back. I didn't make it after all. Right, here you go. Treat it nice. Make sure not to drop it or anything. Well, that was oddly easy enough. Let me see. No. Dwarf's mega ugly, but he's got a good heart. Nothing like a big headed Sandman. Let me, like a, let me look at this. So I've got the pink jewel. Yeah, it's a blue item, so it seems it seems important. So maybe I did a good thing by taking that. Alright, so we've got to go see Dwarf in a cave, but from what I recall originally, we couldn't see into the cave because it was too dark. Yeah, it's pitch dark inside. Is this where Dwarf lives? I can't see anything. Someone there. <laughs> no, I need, a, I need a good Dwarf voice. I need a good Dwarf voice. Um, let's see. Who wants to know? Dwarf, Dwarf. I don't know if it's a he or a she either. Someone there? Someone there? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm Sophie. Are you Dwarf? Oi, is that I am? Sophie, is it? Nice to see you. Oh no. <laughs> don't just stand around, come in. <laughs> Maybe she give him a country accent. Oh. Shoot. Oh, is it too dark for you? Could do me a favor, Sophie. Could you do me a favor, Sophie? <laughs> I can't do this right. What? There's glimmers on the plane nearby. <laughs> There's glimmers on the plane nearby. Yeah, I like that one. There's glimmers on the plane nearby. Could, could you catch as many as you can in a cage? Should be a cage around here. Got it. I know those. I know those things. Those giggly things. Okay. Something resembling a bird cage. Got a cage. How am I going to catch them though? Um, they're screaming. 
I think I'm, I'm kind of worried about this. I kind of feel uneasy. They're screaming. I'm just kind of big-eyed right now. Don't come right here. I'm sorry, I, I gotta catch you. I'm sorry, <laughs> please stop screaming. I guess I'd be screaming too. Oh, this is kind of horrible. Oh, that was... I feel very uncomfortable now. Maybe we'll set them free, right? Right? Dwarf! I caught a bunch of glimmers! Dwarf? You there? <gasps> yeah! <laughs> I can't do a shout. Eee! Ah, did I scare ya? Sorry for mug the mug. Alright, come on in. Must be tired from walking. Ain't that bad. Hmm, limpstone, is it? Now where'd that unicorn get something this valuable? Can you make it into something I can use? Not a problem, my girl. I'll start right away. Just take a seat. Get a nap in if you want. Oh, can't sleep, can you? We'll just sit then. Huh? Say, Sophie, not liking it much in the human world, are you? How do you know that? I just know. Fairies know everything about humans. Yeah, it's no fun at all. Nothing goes my way. I just hate all of it. At school and with my friend and with my dad. And the guy I like. So I think you should meet her too. As a guy, all I can really do is listen. Maybe she'll be more willing to talk to you. A high school girl? I wonder. Those can be difficult. Don't want her to call me an old granny. <laughs> Sophie's not ill-natured like you. She's a great honest kid. Oh really? Then I'll try using that ill-naturedness to my advantage. But you come with me. I'll be nervous. Of course. Make sure you listen to her, all right? I feel bad how much she's got to deal with all by herself. All right, I gotta go. You got the day off, right? Don't have to walk me home. I'm fine. Oh, are you coming over today? Yeah, I'll get out of work early. I'll get a bite to eat before I'm there. Got it. See you. Sophie. I was stupid for getting all excited over his kindness. David's just kind to everybody. But he was the first person I really liked. <laughs> Thinking that tomorrow would be more of the same, I started to fear the morning more and more. Until I even feared going to sleep. Those lullabies lullaby made. Is that really what I wanted to happen to them all? Was I really thinking such awful things? The other day, Unicorn got himself stuck in a mire. Had a big laugh about that, I did. And you gotta allow yourself that. It doesn't make you a bad kid for thinking that. And no point worrying about being good anyway. So don't go blaming yourself for that sort of thing. Thanks. You're a nice, Torv. Well, that's just us fairies. We're friends to kids. 
of course, you're a little grown, but still a kid too. Oh? Yeah. So it's fine to get back at what peeves you. Just putting up with it is what adults do. It's wonderful. Er, I mean, is this a wand? That it is. Swing this wand and it'll have the same effect as a stone. Give me your hand for a sec, will you, Sophie? What pretty hands. Can't see them, but I'm sure your eyes are the same. That's how it was with your mom, too. You're blind, sure? Been stirring into the flames as work <laughs> as a work all my life. Not that it's any trouble not seeing. Darkness doesn't bother me. Besides, we fairies are hard workers. Me, a two fairy, Nixie, and Sandman too. Though, of course, sometimes to a fault. To a fault? Well, just look at me. I can't see. Two fairies' teeth are all rotten. Nixie's got to care for her skin, always being in the water. My dad collapsed from overwork too. He got a hole in his stomach from stress. Worried for your hard working dad, eh? You have to treat him right. He's the only dad you got, Sophie. Now go on. Wanna stop saying man, is it? I'll be praying for you. Thank you, Chor. Thank you. Got a wonderful wand. <laughs> a wonderful wand. Alright, so... Yeah, I think I made some really good bit of progress here. Um... I guess let's look around his place before we leave. See what he's got here. I think he goes bananas on us or something. Bones, huh? Oh no, a pile of broken blades. Mm -hmm. A sword hangs on the wall. Okay. Not much here, not much here. Can I look at the rest of them? Same thing. Hey, Jorf, are you going to release the glimmers? It'll be not soon. They die once night falls. It's not much point. Huh? They... they... they die? Yep. They die at night, then revive in the morn. I feel kind of bad for them. Do ya? Makes sense. Humans are the same way. Sleeping dead at night, then reborn when they wake. You know, I've kind of heard people say that before, like you're close to death when you're sleeping. And it's kind of creepy to think about. But even creepier to think about actually dying at night and then being reborn. Kind of makes dreams sound like a whole different thing, almost like your life flashing before your eyes, but distorted or something. Alright now, you should go. I've got to talk with Sandman later myself. Oh, do you now? <laughs>